Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Today's the day that I've actually really, really cracked it with living off the grid. When the sun's not shining and we're very overcast today, I've got no energy coming into our battery bank. So this morning what happened, I went to put the kettle on, put the toaster on, bang, nothing. Great over summer, over winter, it's a real, real problem. Now, what I want to do, so if you look over my shoulder here, I want to harness that water and turn that into electricity. So what I'm thinking is that, that we need to um, design a system, a little micro hydro unit, that will then generate power over the winter months. Now, we're in the middle of winter now, and you can see our waterfall here. So it's a byproduct of the overflow from the dam. Now we're quite lucky here at Fat Cow Farm where we're sort of in a, oh, at an end of a valley, almost like a, a big cauldron at the end. So we've got quite a large natural water catchment that all feeds up to the top here and then runs through the property. Now when we first bought this, this place, we didn't even know that that was there. So it's only that we've fenced this area off and this is actually in the goat paddock and over the, the years that or years that we've been here the goats have exposed this rock face because we heard water but we didn't we couldn't see it and you can see still to the right that there's quite a few brambles and everything else up there but the goats are doing a great job so they're sort of all coming back and the goats climb up there and, and have a great old time doing what goats do but getting back to the little hydro point is that I, last summer, um, what I did is I, I put a 90 mil pipe. I made a little dam up the top there and cemented some rocks in as a catchment. And I'm not sure if you can see it. We'll get closer to it later on. But I've got water coming out of that pipe today. <laughs> That's like about for serious. Boom, like a water cannon. So what I'm going to try and do is harness that. So I've got to put some sort of container or something of the sort as a header tank so I actually can attach some pipes and things like that so I can work out what sort of flow I'm going to have further down what sort of pressure I'm going to have further down and then I need to work out what my elevation height is so with all those figures put together in a matrix I want to see if I can achieve around about 300 watt now that gives me a, uh, close to, oh, what's that, probably about eight, nine, I'm thinking, in the top of my head, kilowatt hours a day. Now that's ample for what we need to achieve at the household. So over those winter months, I'm gonna, I want to harness this because starting generators at five o'clock in the morning is really starting to wear thin when we have no power and a, and a cloudy day the day before. So I'm gonna get a few things sorted out. <laughs> It's, it's going to be epic, and I'm really, really hoping that this all works. So it's gonna take a bit of time, but I thought we'd start the process, work this out, and, um, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you up on the top of the waterfall. We'll get a few things squared away, and I'll catch you soon. All right, so here we are pretty much near the top of the dam now. And you can see near Mads, we've got um, my little dam wall, and I've got the, the PVC pipe coming out through. Now, rather than going to all the expense, I really wanted to see how this is all going to work first. So what I've got is an old um, plastic tub, and I've made some fittings to go onto a bit of poly pipe. Now, the poly pipe that I have is only an inch and a quarter. Now, and, that's, and again, I've only got um, 50 metres, and it doesn't quite get us back to the creek down that way, but it will give us some figures to start working on. Now, if we need to up size that or downsize that to get some better volumes and some better um, wattage then that's something that we can work through but at the moment I really didn't want to spend any money on anything until we just got some figures to start with and then I can start working out about exactly what I need what I don't need so what I'm going to try and attempt is <laughs> to try and connect that pipe into that bucket and then put this poly pipe onto the end 
and I've made up a little jig um, so I can <laughs> measure. I have a water outlet, obviously, um, with a tap on it so I can do some volumes and I can do some pressure. I put a pressure gauge on it. Um, <laughs> we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> And then I'll have to come back and work out how high we are at this point. I'd be thinking we're probably about 10 metres. I reckon that's pretty much where we are. So I'll go, go, I'll go get Mad, because I'll send her into the creek. <laughs> and, um, and then I'll come and find you. We'll go from there. So I'll see you soon. Okay. Now, what we want to do, Mad, is find a flat section where this can sit. So you want to jump in the creek? That would be great. <laughs> Fantastic. Maybe just there, right? Eh? It's connected and it's all just press fitting. There's nothing been permanent here. Like I said, we just want to make sure things actually can give us what we want. We just started going into a tub. Now what we've done is we've just put a massive big rock in there just to hold it in, plus the weight of the water. I've got the um, inch and a quarter pipe connected. So I've got to now see where where that will be further down we'll, and we'll connect the, um, the pressure gauge and, um, and the final tap backwards and forwards and then we can start measuring some volume looking at some pressure and then we'll come back up and um, have a look at some, um, some elevations and height. So, well, <laughs> there you go, we're halfway there, so, so um, I'll go back down to the bottom of the gully and um, I'll come and find you and we'll go from there. I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. All my helpers have turned up. It's fantastic. Except they kept on running away with tools. So we'll just, if they see me zip off quickly, it's because I'm chasing a goat with something. All right, so what we've come is we've come down 50 metres and that was the length of the poly pipe. I've still got, oh wow, probably about another 30 metres further on so if you can see that large tree down there that's sort of roughly where I want to be um, but as a part of the experiment that we need to go through today we're coming off that little dam wall that we've built we've got the 90 mil pipe coming into that bucket now that bucket is just exploding all over the place but what we have is good flow so I've got Mads here to help me, and well, what I've got is a 20 litre water container. Now, when I say you're ready to go, Mads, yeah. I'll try and work this out. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Stop. 22.8. 22.8 seconds. Yeah. Right. Oh. 22.8. All right, we'll just do another one just in case. Okay. That's pretty good though. 22.8, so that's almost a litre a second. Um, Just under. Pressure timing? Yep, perfect. Okay. You ready to rock and roll? Yep. Ready, set, go.
Stop. 22.34. Oh, so we're pretty close. So we could really just call that 23 seconds. All right. 23 seconds. So we're just under, um, just under a litre a second. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we've got the matrix to work out all the information for us so but I don't know I think that's that's all right that's all right and that may reduce being further down but at least we're going to be in the ballpark and obviously with inefficiencies of water and how we've trapped the water and things like that then um, I think we can actually improve as we come along all right so what we need to do now is um, check the water pressure so I'll sort that out now now Mads can you hold that pipe for me so what I've got here is just it looks a bit messy only because it's these are the parts that I had to, to make it all work so we're just coming through the most important thing is this pressure gauge so what we do is we can then have the pressure gauge on static when we turn the water off and then when we turn the water back on we can then have the pressure running through as well all right so give me a few minutes I'll hook this up I'll come and find you and we'll go for there I'll see you soon all right so here we are we're at the pretty much at the base of our poly pipe which is 50 meters from our bucket that we had set up at the top of the, um, the waterfall there now I'm looking at my pressure gauge and it's only giving me 10 psi. So I'm thinking there's, there's, I've got quite a few issues here. Firstly is that the, the volume isn't right on this inch and a quarter pipe. I'm going to have to up that size to maybe a two inch or three inch pipe, which will increase obviously my volume. I'm going to have to go further down the gully to get a longer distance between me and the head as in height i need to get a, a more force coming back through that pipe so that's the second thing volume's not an issue you know the creek's just pumping away so that's that's great it may mean though that my whole thought process of the um the pelt and wheel or something like that as a hydro generator may have to change and go to something like a low head high volume setup so there's a few things I've got to sort of make a, a bit of a decision on. I'm going to see if I can find some larger diameter pipe. That'll be my first thing. Um, so as a part of what we've done this morning, a little bit of a fail, unfortunately. I still need to work out exactly what the, the height is. Um, and then I can go from there. So I'll go get my level and I'll get a few bits of other pieces. I'll come and find you and we'll go from there. I'll see you soon. All right, so I couldn't let this get the better of me. I knew that we could organise the volume. I've sourced out some 90 mil stormwater pipe, which is directly fed to that little dam wall that I've made. A few little issues though is that I was causing a massive vortex up there, so I had to sort of cover that so we weren't getting air through. Now, my little bucket wasn't going to cut it, so I found a 220 litre drum, and we'll do the timing on this. All right, are you ready? One. And stop. <laughs> All right, so that was, what was it? Oh, nine, nine odd ten. seconds. Let's make that ten. Ten seconds for 220 litre drum. 22 seconds, 22 litres a second. All right, so already what we're going to do is I'm going to organise a 90 mil pipe running all the way through. And I want to go back to my original spot now because I reckon I can get the pressure now because I've got the volume behind it. I'm going to work this out. I'm going to work this out. So. I'll, um, I've got a few more calculations to do from there. So I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. All right then. I've worked out my um, elevation here or um, up to the top of the, the waterfall. 
Now I was thinking about how am I going to do this really, really quickly, but all I've done is just use a very rudimental sort of way of sorting it out where I'm just using the level as a line of sight. And I'm getting someone just to give me a, a hand to spot level. So all I need to do is then look through over the top of this edge here onto the horizon and find the ground. And then I then go to the next stage and to the next stage and to the next stage. Now, all I've done is I've based it off my eye to the sole of my foot. Now, I'm thinking that's probably around about 1.8, something like that. Um, I'll go do, go do an exact measurement and then I need to then multiply that by how many times I've done it. Already, um, it's around about six. Um, so that's it's pretty much spot on 10 meters. So from just here. So I'm thinking that now that we've got the larger diameter pipe, we've got larger volume. I'm sure we, I haven't put a pressure gauge on it because I'll need to sort of adapt down to that, but I'll do that during the week. Now I've got my head height. I'm gonna put those into the, um, the matrix to see what sort of turbine suits the, the, our, um, our needs and based on what's here at Fat Cow Farm. So mate, so all about working through trying to find a hydro generator that works for you, the trial and error process, lots of family fun, not that much yelling, but lots of family fun. Like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.